Good morning. Good morning, good morning. Welcome to Tuesday morning at Mystic. My name is Kat and I will be guiding you through this practice for today. Of course, like always, if something doesn't feel comfortable for you, I really want to empower you to take things at your own pace, to really listen to your body and to be kind. Be kind to yourself and just find ways to ground yourself. So let's get ourselves into a comfortable position, whether that means you're lying down on your back or maybe you choose to be seated. You can find any place, any position that feels right for you. And as we settle into position, you can even do some gentle adjustments just to kind of notice the body. We're just trying to turn on our internal GPS to get a clear understanding of where we are for today. So our eyes could be closed or you could have a soft focus. And you can allow for the jaw to become slack and heavy. to just notice all the muscles in the face. To notice the way it feels to be here right now. What does presence mean to you? Presence might be noticing the temperature against your skin. Presence might be noticing sounds that you hear within the space that you're in. However you download and digest that information, I want you to just sit with it. What is our anchor that brings us back to this present moment? Maybe you notice your natural breath as it flows in and out. You might notice it being high or low. And maybe you start to become a little bit more curious about the breath and start to expand it. So you can allow for the belly to blossom open, the ribs, the chest, everything expands and grows. And as you exhale, just following the breath out, deep breath in and out. And just continuing to breathe a little bit deeper with each and every inhale and to let go just a little bit more with each and every exhale. When we focus only in on the breath, notice how everything else around us becomes white noise. 
things fade into the background. And it's just you and your breath. Just give yourself a few more long breaths. And maybe with every inhale, you think the word let. And on your exhale, maybe you think the word go. Just give yourself another round or two of breath. And wherever you are, they're lying down on your back or seated, maybe bringing one hand to the heart. The other one can stack or maybe come to the belly. And just come into your natural state of breathing. Maybe it's been changed, shifted. Focus in on what brought you here today. Maybe there's a word or phrase, an image or something that connects you to this moment, to this practice. Or maybe we send this practice out to someone else. Take a deep breath in. Exhale through the nose. One more deep breath in. And out through the nose when you're ready. We'll gently make our way onto our backs. So maybe you keep those eyes closed as you roll onto your back. And as you roll onto your back, hug those knees in towards your chest. And you can circle out the ankles, wiggle the toes, maybe even circling out the wrists in this position. Your eyes could stay closed if you choose to, or maybe you find a soft focus. And you can start to really play around with what's happening with the knees and the hips. So maybe you're creating a brush stroking action with those knees. Just moving them anywhere that feels comfortable for you. You could even kick the legs up towards the ceiling, finding a straddle, just maintaining this sense of curiosity both for our inner world and how that outer world affects us internally. What is it we take on? And what is it we let go of? Give yourself just a few breaths to explore. And one more breath. And then we'll slowly bring our feet down to the mat, coming into the foundation for our bridge. Our hands will go by our sides with the palms facing down. You're gonna press that lower back into the mat and then start to lift those hips up towards the sky. Make sure those knees stay nice and even so that they're not bowing out or coming in towards each other, unless it's a choice. And then from here, I want you to lift your heels and then curl through the spine to release down to the mat. Once down, drop the heels and then press the back into the mat and we'll scoop those hips back up towards the ceiling. Press into those glutes, squeeze, lift those heels, 
and then curl through the spine to release down nice and slowly. Again, once those hips are down, drop the heels and we repeat. So we're just going at our own pace, finding this rolling action with our hips, getting a little bit of calf activation as well, and just going at our own pace. Notice how that heel lift can really affect and give us space to curl through the spine. And we're gonna go for about 20 more seconds. Just moving with the breath, going at a pace that feels right for you where you get that connection. And we have five seconds left for our last three, two, and one. Now everyone, lift your hips up to the sky if they're not there. With those heels still down, we're just gonna hold this bridge. So make sure there's space between your chin and your chest. What's happening with the knees? Are they staying nice and even? Can you press into the heels a little bit more? Maybe you wiggle the toes. Can you squeeze your glutes? Think about that tailbone shooting behind the backs of the knees. So we're protecting our lower back while strengthening it. Give yourself two more breaths. Inhale through the nose. Exhale. And one more. And exhale. Slowly release down and squeeze those knees into the chest. Give those glutes a little relaxation, a little release, maybe circle out the ankles again. Extend the arms and extend the legs to find a full long stretch of the body. And then just take your hands and we're gonna reach them over to the right side. We're finding a little active side stretch right here in a passive position. You can even use your right hand to grab onto that left wrist to just incorporate a little bit more of a stretch. Take a deep breath in and out. Inhaling, coming back to center and then We'll just go over to the left. You can use that left hand to grab onto the right wrist. And again, pulling as much as it feels comfortable or not. The option can always be or not. Take a deep breath in. And out. And we'll come back to center, squeezing those knees into the chest. You have the option here. You can rock up and down, or you can just come up into your seated position any way that feels comfortable for you. And as we come up into our seated position, just dropping your right ear to your right shoulder, chin to chest, left ear, left shoulder, and just Going the opposite way, chin to chest, right ear, right shoulder, and dropping it down, left ear, left shoulder. And then just coming into center, lifting those shoulders up to the ears and circling them back and around just a few times. Just finding some opening and movement within the shoulders. Taking those hands and interlacing them and pressing them up towards the sky. And again, little tips from right to left. And you can always extend the legs. So if being in this tight position doesn't feel good kneeling position or extension of those legs can feel a little bit better find the place that feels right for you now release the hands circle out those wrists wiggle the fingers open and close a few times you can shake 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 and then we're going to take and we're going to bring that 
right hand down and have that left arm reaching up and over to the right side. Good. Now let's take and bend that top elbow. On your inhale, look up towards the ceiling. And on your exhale, look down towards your hand on the ground, look down towards the mat. Or you can think about bringing that left shoulder towards the right knee. Inhale, broadening the chest. And exhale, curling down into it. Two more times, inhale to broaden. And exhale to curl. And last time, inhale to broaden. And exhale to curl. Now holding this position, come into this still that tipped position, extend as much as you can that left arm if that feels okay for you. Take a deep breath in. And out. On your inhale, both arms reach up to the sky. Now drop that left hand down. That right arm can stretch as much as it feels comfortable for you. And you might even press down into the hand on the ground. Make sure that opposite hip is staying rooted. Now when you're ready, just bend that top elbow and drop the shoulders down and away. On your inhale, look up towards the ceiling. And on your exhale, curl the right shoulder towards that left knee. Inhale to broaden. And exhale to curl. Inhale to open. And exhale to curl. And last time, inhale to open. And exhale to curl. Inhale, neutral position. And on your exhale, reach as far as you can with that right hand. Inhale, both arms reach up to the sky. And on your exhale, you have two options. We're gonna roll forward into our tabletop position. So you can roll over those legs or just kick them off to the side. As we come into our tabletop position, spread those fingers open wide, tentum or fistum, whatever feels right for you. We'll find some cats and cows. So lift the tailbone, open up the chest. Let the front of the arms face the front of the mat. On your exhale, round the back, press that back up to the sky, shake out the head yes and no. On your inhale, lift the tailbone, open up the chest, draw those elbows back. On your exhale, round into it. And just going at your own pace for these cats and cows, maybe there's shifting and movement that you're finding through the cats and cows. Notice where tension starts to work its way back in. Take one more full range of breath. After this next exhale, press those hips back towards the heels to find yourself into your child's pose. Now those knees can open as wide as it feels comfortable for you, or maybe you keep them closed. Those arms could be extended towards the front of the mat with lots of power pushing down through the palms into the earth. And you might even have a shifting within the shoulders, dropping one shoulder down and the other one. Or maybe there's a little bit more kindness, a little bit more of a passive quality within the arms with a generous bend of those elbows. Wherever you are, just again, notice how these positions affect you. The goal for all of this is that we understand ourselves a little bit more. Not even so we touch our toes, but so that we find ourselves finding this journey of self this connection with the moment. On your next inhale, we'll press ourselves up, tabletop position. Now tuck your toes and we're gonna lift those knees to a hover. Press the hands into the earth, look down, shake out that head yes and no. And if those knees have to be higher or lower, we do what feels right for us. Take a deep breath in and out one more deep breath in 
And on your exhale, drop those knees down, relax the feet, press back into child's pose, circle out those wrists. Give yourself a moment, deep breath in and out. Okay, we're gonna try it again. So we're gonna press ourselves up, tabletop position. Situate yourself so that your shoulders are right over those wrists. Tuck the toes, lift those knees. Yeah, come into a hover. Now you could stay right here, and this might be a beautiful place for you. Or we can play around with kicking that right foot to the back of the mat. So it's a little half plank position. And then we bring it forward back into the hover. And then that left foot steps back and into our hover. And we'll continue alternating the legs. And we're going to go for 30 seconds more. No biggie, right? Take whatever pauses, whatever breaks you need. Tapping back, focus on your breath, tuck that pelvis, or just find a static quality to it, right? Shake your head, yes. Shake your head, no. What feels right for you? You have 10 seconds left. That's it, 10 seconds. Breathe. Focus on the power that you have for your last three, two, one. Bring those feet together, knees drop, press back into your child's pose. Take a deep breath in. If we can make it through those 30 seconds, we can make it through anything, right? Push up, tabletop position. Tuck the toes this time, press back and up. Come into your downward facing dog. Now, as you come into your down dog, start to pedal through the feet. Let there be movement within the hips, within the shoulders. Maybe you bend your knees and try to lift that tailbone really high up to the sky. Get the shoulders away from your ears. And notice how all of these joints have so much movement within them. Maybe the feet want to be to the outsides of the mat. And that might feel really compassionate on the body. Give yourself two more breaths. Inhale through the nose. And exhale. And one more breath. Inhale. And exhale. On your next inhale, bend those knees and walk your feet towards your hands to come into your forward fold. Now those elbows could rest on the thigh, so you might come right into a ragdoll position, grabbing onto opposite elbows. Just shake the head out, yes and no. Give yourself a deep breath in. And out. Now bend those knees, inhale. We will roll up to standing. We'll circle and sweep those arms up to the sky. And on your exhale, bring your hands to your heart space. On your inhale, reach those arms up to the sky. And exhale, hands come to the heart space. Inhale one more time, reach those arms up. Now this time, as you exhale, sink down into your chair. Good. So those knees are never going beyond the toes. We'll just see what the foundation of our bodies are for today. We're pressing those hips back. So that means the torso might come forward to facilitate our knees, to facilitate the hips. Lift your toes, wiggle them a little bit. Relax your shoulders. Can you draw your abs in? Right? Little, little things can have a big impact on our body. Now maybe you sink down a little bit lower and notice how things can change dramatically. Now press into your feet like you're trying to push down into the ground. On your inhale, stand up tall. Can you squeeze quads and glutes at the top? Exhale, sink into your chair. Make this transition just as important as the finished product. Inhale up. And exhale down. We're gonna just flow through this little Tadasana to Ukatasana, our chair to mountain. And I want you to notice how much extra attention you pay attention to the standing, the squeezing, 
Can you imagine you're going through water and maybe you close your eyes? So we might not all be going at the same pace, but we go at the authenticity, that authentic pace of us. Now one more time, we're gonna pause at the bottom. On your next inhale, take those arms. We're gonna scoop them forward, just straight. On your exhale, you're gonna hinge forward. Those arms sweep back and up, maybe. Now inhale, come to chair. So bend those knees, arms sweep forward. We're up, it's all good, you pick it. Exhale, hinge forward, arms sweep back. Inhale, up to chair. Draw those abs in. Exhale. Three more times. Inhale. And exhale. Let it go. Two more times. And last time. And let it go. Relax those hands down. Shake out the head. Slide your hands to your shins, and on your inhale, can you come to a halfway lift? So we should look like an upside down L, maybe even half of a square. Take a deep breath in, and on your exhale, release down. Inhale, take that left foot, step it to the back of your mat. Option one, that leg could stay lifted, the back leg. Option two, knee could drop down. Dealer's choice. Now take a deep breath in right here. And on your exhale, can you lengthen the front leg? Inhale to bend. And exhale to lengthen. And just two more times. Inhale to bend. And exhale to lengthen. And one more time. Inhale to bend. And exhale to lengthen. We're going to pause in this lengthened position. So you might choose to use blocks or not. You might move the hips, wiggle them a little bit, get some opening within the back of both of the legs, but especially the right. On your next inhale, we're going to bend into that right knee. You're going to use that left hand, anchor it onto the ground or a block, and that right arm is going to spiral up to the sky. Now, start to circle out the right arm, creating big, sweeping circles. You know, this world is a big cycle. Cycles are everywhere. Take one more deep breath in. And then on your exhale, release that right hand down. If you have blocks, move them to the side and step that right foot back to meet the left plank. Now, in this plank position, tuck the pelvis, draw those abs in. This is a glorified push-up. We never have to do it, right? Take a deep breath in, on knees or not. Exhale, we're going to make our way down to our bellies, so draw those elbows in if that feels okay. Lower down with control to the mat. Squeeze those glutes, press the pubic bone down. Inhale, head, shoulders lift up. Strengthen that mermaid tail or merman tail. Take a deep breath in. And exhale, release down. Inhale, press up, tabletop, tuck toes, down dog. Pedal the feet, three breaths. Now on your inhale, can you bend your knees and allow for that belly to come towards the thighs. And we're gonna shift forward into our plank. Press back into the super soft down dog. And then charge forward into the plank. Now this could be done from knees too. So if doing this in, um, on our feet and our hands doesn't feel comfortable, you just drop those knees. And it's just like a kind of like a little power child's pose to our knee plank position. And this is still a beautiful place to go. There's literally no judgment. 
The only person that's going to judge you is you. Other than that, we have our own crap to worry about with ourselves. So it's like, we don't have time to focus on what's going on. So focus on yourself. Give yourself three more breaths. And the next time you find yourself in your downward facing dog, bend those knees, slowly walk, hop, or step your feet to the front of your mat. Bend those knees, inhale, can you roll up to standing? Circle, sweep arms up to the sky. And exhale, hands come to our heart space. Bend those knees, inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, sink into that chair. Inhale up. And exhale, chair. And we're going to continue with this. I'm eating something inside of my mask. Pardon me. So we're going to go for 20 seconds. And it's not a cookie. So that's sad. <laughs> Here we go for our last maybe two more times. And then we'll pause at that bottom position. How does it change every time we come to it? If we have this idea of expectation, we either meet expectation or we fail that expectation or exceed that expectation. So erase it, erase it. What's the sensation? On your inhale, sweep those arms forward. Beautiful, exhale, hinge forward, arms sweep back and up maybe. Inhale, up to chair. And exhale. Three more times, come up to chair. Broaden it and let it go. Two more times. Last time. Hold that down position, release the hands. Slide those hands to your shins, come into your halfway lifted position. And on your exhale, release those hands down. Inhale, you're gonna take that right leg. Step it to the back of your mat. Front leg and back leg are squeezing into each other. Option to release right knee down to the ground is there. Shake your head yes, you're right. Take a deep breath in. And on your exhale, can you lengthen the front leg? Inhale to bend. And exhale to lengthen. Inhale to bend. Yeah, and exhale to lengthen. One more time before we pause. Inhale to bend. And exhale, lengthen, hold. Wiggle the hips, shake out the head yes and no. Again, you should feel a pretty strong stretch coming from the back of both legs, but especially the left. Give yourself one more deep breath in and out. Inhale, let's bend into that left knee. Right hand anchors down on a block on the ground. Left arm sweeps up to the sky. And then start to circle out the left arm and shoulder with as big of sweeping circles as it feels comfortable for you. Give yourself one more deep breath in. And on your exhale, release the hand down. Get your hands to the front of the mat. And we're gonna step that left foot back to meet the right. And again, maybe you choose to be on knees or maybe you choose to have those toes tucked in your plank position. Take a deep breath in, relax the jaw. And on your exhale, let's come down all the way one more time. Squeeze those glutes. Find that foundation. Inhale, head, shoulders lift off the mat. Gaze stays down. On your next exhale, release. Inhale, press up tabletop. Exhale, down dog or child's pose. Three breaths. Deep breath in. And out. One more deep breath in. Hmm. 
On your next inhale, let's get our feet. Oh, let's find ourselves in down dog. Sorry, Lynn. Let's get our feet together at the back of our mat. And we are gonna sweep that right leg up to the sky. Yeah, that right leg lifts up. Now bend that right knee and stack right hip on top of left. So if doing it, yeah! And if doing it from this down dog position doesn't feel super great, you can always do it from tabletop, which is the same thing. And it's amazing. Now let's square off our hips. And on your exhale, let's hug that right knee into the chest. Can we come into our three-legged dog? Or our three-legged plank? Inhale, sweep it up. And on your exhale, can we plant that right foot towards the front of the mat? And you can use that right hand to help bring it forward. Now, we're gonna let our torso rise up. As we come into our crescent lunge, Can you bend that left knee and tuck left hip flexor forward? Yeah. Now I can't see your mouth, so I just trust. Can you lift the corners of them? Not because I want you to feign happiness, because it's never what I would want, but sometimes we go into overthinking yogi, and that little bit of lift can help so much. It just changes our perspective. Now inhale, let's straighten our, our front leg. Let's reach up tall. Now on your exhale, make two fists. Bring those arms down, maybe letting that left knee come down. Inhale, come on up. And exhale down, making sure that front knee doesn't go beyond the toe. It's straight up and down. We're like a carousel pony. And straight down. Two more times, inhale up. Find your own hidden power. Your range is your range, and it's gorgeous. Lift up and down. Now take those arms, release them. Broaden the chest, wiggle it. All right, we are gonna find our warrior three, or airplane, so shift that torso forward at the beginning, and then push off of that left foot slowly, then start to let it lift. As it lifts, any kind of little tremor in the ankle, guess what? It's all good. It's called strengthening. We're making it work. Give yourself one more deep breath in. And out. Now bend that right knee a lot. Press back into that right glute. We're gonna step back into warrior one. So that left heel is gonna drop down. Torso comes upright. Find an expression of warrior one that works for you. So all toes facing forward. That right knee is stacked. Yeah, our hips are facing forward-ish, right? We're going, the ideas, they're going forward. The chest is broadening. This could feel a little bit like a back bend, or it might not. So we're gonna take our hands, we're gonna sweep them to our chest and straighten that front leg. Inhale. On your exhale, press those hands forward, bending into that front knee. Inhale, straighten, hands to chest, and exhale, press forward. So we're missing, mixing some qigong moves with some warrior yogi asanas. Because life isn't this cookie cutter thing, and we're meant to have different speeds of life, different connections. One more. Now, bring your hands to your hips. Shift that weight to the right foot. Left leg is gonna sweep on top, and you're gonna cross. I've been working on these for a few weeks with you, just for fun, just so we can get that anchoring down. Now, think about pressing the hips back, which means that torso is going to come towards that left shin. Hands can go anywhere to help support you. And then once you are in that like kind of folded up position, then maybe bend deeper into that right knee. Yeah, I love it. I love it. Good. Give yourself one more deep breath in and care bear stare as something on the ground unmoving. 
Can you come out of it softly? So as we come up, fight against that temptation to just drop it. Now we are going to unhook that left foot and step it behind the right. I'm going to go in the same direction as you. Step it behind the right. Now heel could be up or heel could drop. You're going to bring your right hand to your hip and left hand to the back of the head. And now we're going to just tip over to the right, getting some opening within the lats, within that side left armpit-ish area. Inhale, torso comes up. Beautiful. Now drop the heel down, and we're going to take our hands and slide them down that right leg, and they can go anywhere that feels comfortable. Kind of a really funky little curtsy type of thing. Bending that right knee and the left. Let's roll up to standing. Take that left knee, bring it forward. Right hand grabs onto that left leg. And we're going to twist open to the left. Yeah, that's it. Inhale, let's slowly come back to center. Now fight, fight, fight. Slow motion, release the foot down. Once down, circle out those ankles, relax the shoulders, give yourself a little groove. All right, inhale, circle, sweep arms up to the sky. Exhale, chair. Inhale, reach up tall. And on your exhale, find chair as a transition forward fold. Slide your hands to your shins, halfway lift. And on your exhale, hands come down to the ground. Walk up, step your feet to the back of your mat to come into your plank. Deep breath in. Exhale, high plank, low plank. Either all the way down or halfway down. Inhale, either upward facing dog or cobra, dealer's choice forever and always. Exhale to your down dog. Do tabletop or not? Take two breaths right here. <clears throat> All right, let's do this on the other side. So get your feet together at the back of your mat and we're gonna sweep that left leg up to the sky. That's it. Bend the knee, stack left hip on top of right, if that feels good for you. Again, you can do this from a three-legged tabletop position as a gorgeous alternative. And modifications are signs of wisdom, not signs of weakness, so we go for what feels right for us. On your inhale, neutralize those hips, reaching that left leg up to the sky. As you exhale, curl the knee into the chest, roll forward, three-legged plank. Inhale, sweep it up. Keep those hips up high. Step that foot towards the front of your mat. Find the connection as we come up into our crescent lunge. So as we come up into crescent lunge, maybe shift and move. Yeah. If balance becomes curious, feet move away from each other to the wide sides of the mat. We're not on a tightrope, right? We take up space. Now either stay here, gorgeous position, or move with me. Inhale, straighten the front leg, arms up to the sky, reach through those fingers, make two fists, bring them on down, bending into that right knee. Inhale up and left, and exhale down. Now the thing I want you to pay attention to as we do this is that front knee never goes beyond the toe. So we are dictated and we are listening to our bodies. Beautiful. Can you release the front toes? They don't need to do so much work. Last two times. Last time. Now stay low. Release the hands. Look at those chests, or the one chest we have. <laughs> I guess together we have many. And then shift forward. Weight is gonna go into that left leg. Slow motion, draw those abs in, lift that right leg up behind you. 
Press back into the left hip. So maybe you bend in to that left knee. Try to press back. Maybe try to roll those shoulders away from the ears. Care Bear stare at something in front of you. Find that connection. Find that reason why we're here. Take one more deep breath in. And on your exhale, we're going to softly plant right foot back, warrior one. And I want you to find an expression that feels right and authentic for you. So as we find this warrior one position, bending into that front knee, we are now going to add movement. Hands come to chest, straighten that front leg, and exhale, press forward. Inhale, and exhale. Few more times. What are we taking in? And what do we let go of? Last time. Inhale, reach up. And then exhale, hands come to hips. Find that connection, sweep right ankle over the left thigh. Yeah. Now, chest is gonna come down towards that right shin. I don't mean they touch, they don't have to touch. Just in that general direction. And you can press back into the glutes and then bend that left knee a little bit more, relax the shoulders, especially if it feels intense. Do you add to the intensity to it? Or do you allow for the space? Sometimes we add to the drama of life. Again, is it necessary? Take one more breath. And out. We'll slowly take our time as we come up into our standing position. Unhook that right foot, and we're going to step it behind the left. Either that toe tap down or heel down. Left hand to hip, right hand to the back of the head. Cutest little selfie. And then lift that right elbow up to the sky, just tipping slightly over to that left side. Yeah, relax the jaw. Inhale, come on back to center. Now let's drop that back heel down and let's just slither down that left leg. And your hands can go anywhere that feels comfortable. That leg is there for a little bit of grounding. So I sometimes like bringing my hands to the tops of my knees. Take a deep breath in and out. Now bend those knees. We're going to roll up to standing. And as we do, lift up that right heel and bring the knee forward. Left hand grabs on to that right leg. We twist open to the right side. I don't know why. This always reminds me of like a Macy's ad. Like I feel like we should be like, I don't know, in print. You know, come back to center. Okay, listen to me. We're going to step that right foot all the way to the back of your mat. And then we're going to let all toes follow suit to the right side. Wide-legged forward fold. Now broaden the chest, open it up, take a deep breath in. And on your exhale, hinge forward. In this wide-legged forward fold, you have the option to open up those legs wider. Maybe you like to do side-to-side -side lunges like me. Maybe there's something else that feels right for you, twists. <laughs> or maybe it's just being still. Notice what happens to the breath. So this weekend I went hiking because I'm obsessed. <laughs> and as we're climbing these ledges, it's kind of in my own state of hard working misery for a few moments. I look up and I see seven falcons. Seven. 
falcons, not just hawks, falcons just darting. How easily something can be missed when we're in our own little moment of oof, for lack of a better word. Take a deep breath in and out. Now let's bend those knees and we're going to roll up to standing. And it's not that we ever have to go away from the ickiness of life. Let the right toes open up to the back of your mat. And that left foot, we want it to be kind of perpendicular to the right. So just make sure those left toes are facing that right side. And we're going to open up into warrior two facing the back of your mat. But it's just the fact that we notice where we are. And we open up our spectrum of awareness because even when there's clouds above us, guess what? There's also sun. There was a rainbow on Sunday night and it was gorgeous. Lift that right hand up to the sky. Did anyone see it? It was brief, but it was there. It was there. Take a deep breath in. And on your exhale, spiral right elbow down to the right knee, left arm sweeps so that you can reach to the front, or I guess back of your mat, or you can reach up to the sky. We're gonna do that one more time. Reach all the way up, spiral, reverse warrior. And exhale, right elbow down, left arm, do your thing. Yeah. Release the right toes, take a deep breath in, pause here, and out. Now, to come out of this, press into that right heel, tuck your pelvis, inhale, torso comes up. Now, we're going to straighten the right leg, dial the toes forward, left toes dial to the front of the mat. So we're in warrior two, you can play with bending into that left knee. Pausing here for a second, find your foundation. Yeah. Beautiful. Gorgeous. Okay. So we're going to take that left hand, reach it up to the sky, pausing here for a second. If there's any pinching on the lower back, how do we adjust our body to make it feel less? We want more of the good stuff, more of the happy surprises, and we don't want to have to handle any kind of sharp pain. We want to learn how to navigate our own body. Take one more deep breath in. And on your exhale, extended side angle, you can allow for that left elbow to come down to the knee, right arm sweeps to the front of the mat if that feels okay for you. Make sure you have a generous bend within that left knee if that feels okay. Inhale, can we reverse? And on your exhale, Extended side angle, we'll pause here. And if you want to bring that right hand to the hip, that might be a better place to go. If there's any kind of sensation that feels less than on the right shoulder, we adjust, right? Give yourself one more breath. And out. Now press into that left foot, tuck the pelvis. Inhale, torso comes upright. Now we are going to straighten the left leg, toes back to that right side. Now bring your heels in. I think everyone probably has to bring your toes in. And then bring your heels in one more time. So we're coming into goddess. You have to kind of work with where you are. Let's sink down into it. We're going to do a little bit of movement in this goddess. We've kind of been working on this for a few times. So hands can come to hips and they can rest there. Or hands could be open. We're going to shift the way over to that right heel. Bring that left foot in. Hands can come to heart space. And then we open back up into goddess. And then we shift over to the left. Bring that right foot in to meet the left. Now we open. And we go to the right. And we open. 
and we go to the left. Now, you could be isolated really low this whole time, or you could add a little up and down. And it's depending upon what feels right for you. Instead of going with the class, maybe you go at the pace and the kindness that your body needs. We're going to go for 15 more seconds. I'd say close your eyes, but don't. But maybe put on blinders from the world. And breathe. Just make sure you do both sides an equal amount of time. And just for the reference, we went to the right first. For our last three, two, and one. We'll find ourselves back to center and bring our hands down to our thighs, press our hips back. Well, that's nice. That's good. Now, from here, we're gonna twist to our right. So drop that left shoulder down, look over your right shoulder at the sky. This would have been a good day to be outside, right? Beautiful sunny day, it's supposed to be 80. Wild. Inhale, come back to center. And exhale to twist open to the left. Inhale, come on back to center. Now bend those knees, roll up to standing. All toes go to the left. Step that right foot forward to meet the left. Find your Tadasana, your mountain pose. Close your eyes. Take a deep breath in and out. One more deep breath in and out. Now let your toes go out. Heels are gonna go in. And it ha might have to be a few times depending upon your starting position. My toes are dripping off the side of my mat. And sink down into your malasana, your garland pose. So our hips could be up. Our hips could be down. Yeah, beautiful. Wherever we are is where we are. So I like to think of, this is like, reminds me of football playing. I've never played football, but this is my imagination. You can come inside for a moment. We're gonna bring that left hand down and we're gonna sweep that right hand back. Like we're about to grab the passing ball to get a touchdown. Those are words we say in football, right? Okay. <laughs> Inhale, come on back to center. Doesn't it, is it just me? Drop, drop that right hand down, reach back. Maybe just turning off a light switch or something. And we'll come back to center. Now, we're gonna slowly release our hips down onto the ground. Bend those knees, soles of feet on the ground, and drop over from right to left a few times. And you can go quickly or slowly. Just going a few times, getting some movement within those hips. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna come back to center. So, knees are bent, soles of feet are on the ground. We're gonna take our palms, and we're gonna bring them down so that our fingers are facing in towards our glutes, okay? Now we're gonna lift up our hips, maybe an inch. Doesn't have to be high, it can be if you choose, okay? Now you might stay right here, and this could be totally it. Or we can add some fun little dips because triceps are our friends and they're body part we pay attention to, even if we want to ignore them. So we bend our arms and then we press back up. And we bend our arms, yeah, and we press back up. And that's exactly right though. So you could go back and straighten those arms. Your butt could be on the ground. Ernestine, can we get the fingers forward? Is that okay? If not, let me know. So the fingers are facing in towards the glutes. Now I'm gonna, I'll go in the same direction because sometimes it's hard to like. So we're gonna go for four more times. If you choose, three more times. Two more times. And last time. 
Now drop those hips down, cross those ankles, and just roll those shoulders back and around a few times. Circle out the wrists. Wiggle the fingers, shake out. So we're gonna do it one more time, if that's okay. So butt can stay down. You don't have to have it lifted. If it's too much, don't worry about it, okay? Or you could come into reverse tabletop. You can do whatever feels right for you in this moment. We're just gonna find a halfway position. Oh, and the other thing is that might help too, is get your, you can also get your hands on blocks and have the fingers going over the front. And that might alleviate some of the tension. Does that feel a little bit better? Yeah, yeah. So dealer's choice. Come up. Now bend those elbows. Pause. Find a pulse just for 10 seconds. So for 10, 9, 8, 7, relax the jaw. For 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, drop those hips down. Cross the ankles. Right arm comes up. Pad yourself on the back. You can use the left hand to grab onto the elbow and just a gentle tipping over to the left side. Deep breath in. And out. And we'll come back up nice and slowly, releasing the hands down. Give yourself a moment, circle it out. We'll go into the other side. Left hand comes up, pat yourself on the back. You can use that right hand to grab onto the elbow. You can just tip over to the right side if that feels okay for you. Take a deep breath in. And out. Now we'll gently come back up to center and release those hands. We're gonna come into our figure four position. We're gonna do it facing the ground, but if that, if hips are not in a place for you to do it that way, I'm gonna show you a couple different modifications. So we're gonna keep that right knee forward and we're gonna kick that left foot back. So it should be like a little cheer asana. Now you could stay right here with the inside of the left knee on the ground and the inside of the left foot on the ground. And that might feel like a great place for you to come to. We can come into a figure four on your back and we can just start to hinge forward over that right leg. Now this might feel like more than enough for you, but if you wanted more, you can always start to allow for that left leg to straighten behind you, right? So that's always an option. We don't have to necessarily go there, but we can find that place that feels right for us today. Wherever you are, just see if you can relax the jaw. Relax any kind of extra effort that maybe doesn't need to be a part of this equation. Again, coming back to that thread of why. You know, why we're here in this moment. How do we greet this moment? How do we honor? Take two more breaths. One more breath. Now to come out of it, if you are lying face down, you can let those hands press into the ground and lift to come up. You can drop down onto that right glute and sweep that left leg forward and then kick that right foot back. If you are on your back, so you can just switch. Just switch, yeah. 
And as we melt our bodies forward, yeah, we start maybe with the inside of that right knee, inside of the right foot on the ground, and we just test these waters first. And it can feel awkward at first, but what in life isn't awkward at first? You know, you meet someone new. You go into a class for a first time. There's just that case of unknown. We try to stay curious, to just navigate what feels right for our bodies. To just navigate through this world. As you become comfortable, maybe you extend that right leg back. Maybe that feels right for you today. Give yourself two more breaths. And we'll slowly, if you are on your belly, press into the hands. Now, we are just going to turn around. Maybe we can make it an elegant turn around and release onto our backs. And when you're ready, you're gonna use your left hand as a pillow to the left side of the head, and we're gonna rock into a fetal position on the left side. Fetal position on the left side. You can use a pillow, uh, your hand, I mean, or you can use um, a block. And then we are gonna kick the right foot towards the glute. And you can, yeah, use your right hand to grab onto the foot. Now, because we, it can be bony on this side, you might have to rock forwards and backwards to Goldilocks it until it feels just right on that left hip. And I want you to think about creating space within that right hip flexor and quad rather than trying to think about compression within the joint of the knee. Good, take a deep breath in, maybe even pressing that right hip flexor to the left side of your mat. Now we're gonna release the foot and I want you to stack the right knee on top of the left. So you're totally on that left side. Your hips are at 90 degrees, the knees are at 90 degrees and the foot is feet are at 90 degrees. Bring your right hand to your right shoulder and start to circle the shoulder around so that each time that shoulder goes back, we're getting a little twist and maybe just testing the waters to make it so that when it feels right, maybe we can land with that right shoulder down on the ground, finding a twist. And if finding a twist for you feels uncomfortable, maybe that right shoulder is lifted up wicked high, press into both elbows in the back of the head and wiggle those shoulders into a better place. Let your eyes close. Notice again where you meet your own resistance. Slowly lifting that right knee and then the left. You might have to slide those hips around so that we can find our fetal position on the right side using that right hand as a pillow. Kick the left foot to the glute and 
Use that left hand to grab onto the pant leg, the foot, or strap if you need to. That's right. And just think about pressing that left hip flexor to the right side, create space within the quads. Relax the jaw. Take a deep breath in. And out. And then we'll release the foot and let that left knee stack on top of the right. Left hand comes to the left shoulder and we'll start to play with circling out the shoulder to create your twist. And then anytime it feels comfortable for you, any varying degree of it, maybe we blossom open into a twist that feels right for us. Again, making any kind of necessary adjustments. After all, that's what life is. We adjust. We adjust. Take a deep breath in. I'm letting it go. Now to come out of this, let's lift up that left knee first and then the right. Lots of protection in the lower back. Give those knees a squeeze into the chest. And then as you're ready, let's make our way into our Shavasana. Letting any kind of passing moments, any transitional things that need to happen, let them happen as you settle. And as we settle into our positioning, into our Shavasana, I want you just to let go of anything that there is to let go of. And consider these words by Donna Falls, Stardust. From a crowded firmament of constellations, a galaxy reaches out to stroke my cheek with a single spiral finger. One star speaks, life is not a test. There is no key to find or door to open. Self-improvement is not the point. There is only awakening. And one day, you will all awaken to the rapture of the great love. When the heart of everything is revealed as you. When the myth of separation is burned to ash in the searing flame of truth. A lifetime of forgetfulness erased in an instant of remembering. The beloved enters, takes me in a whirl, tenderness and bliss. And in that moment, two are one, and one is everything. Stars and souls are whole, unbroken. There is no birth or death or destination. The star speaks to me again. The seeds of love sown or an eternity ago are blooming now. There has always been divinity and this at last is who we are. Love is infinite. 
love is not limitation. It is the truth. Then a rush of wind, like countless wings, I am left to sit in stillness with the taste of stardust sweet on my lips. Take a deep breath in. And just let it go through the nose. And either staying where you are or choosing to move the body to just explore. And either staying where you are or if you want to move to seated. May we think about the kindness Kindness that we have to share with this world. Kindness we have to share with ourselves. May we consider. May we pause. May we find appreciation and gratitude and joy. There's no instruction manual with life. There's just being and doing. May we find mercy. Thank you so much for joining me here, for showing up as you are and being exactly who you are. All that I am bows to all that is within you. Namaste.